and um, uh, go over some of the stuff that we have uh, been very familiar with. Of course, very important is the uh, the conjugation for uh, our verbs, right? And we had three kinds of verbs. And we have the na verb, as you can see here, the conjugation uh, past, present, and future, right? You guys remember that? Yes. And I think everybody is pretty uh, comfortable with that with this already. Um, let's see. Uh, so, and then of course, um, we, go, we, we also said that the conjugation for na uh, is also the same as the conjugation for nag, right? Uh, again, I, I'd like to uh, emphasize here that uh, certain root words uh, could um, uh, are specifically uh, assigned to these uh, set, a uh, nag and a na. And how they are assigned, I have yet to find out. Uh, for the heck of me, I couldn't figure out why some words are nag, some words are na, and yeah, some words are um. So again, the na, nag, the same conjugation, right? Are we good on these two? Yes, all right. And then finally, the um, the um verb, tumakbo, uh, tumatakbo, tatakbo. Right, repeating the first syllable for the future and then putting the um. And this is for uh, words in the um verb that starts with a consonant, right? We put the um in between the, the first syllable uh, consonant in vowel. So it becomes takbo means tumakbo. Tawa goes tumawa. So we're also good on that. Yeah. And then finally, the, uh, the um with the vowel. And if it starts with a vowel, it will always begin with um. So um alis, um alis, a alis, um uwi, um uwi, um uwi. Okay, we're good. And that's basically uh, the, the thing that we need to keep uh, our uh, attention on is the uh, conjugation of our action words, because that would uh, specify our use of our time. And then, so we uh, had our um, terms on time, which is past words, uh, past tense, right? And we have For the past tense, we have kanina, kahapon, kagabi, right? Um, and some of you all already figured out, like uh, you could say kahapon nang gabi, is the same as kagabi, right? Yes, last yesterday evening, you can say that, uh, or last night. Last night would be kagabi, but if you wanted to say yesterday evening, you can say kahapon nang gabi. Okay, and, and then of course, what, and, and I want you to take note of this, noong and noong. Noong and noong uh, are, are the same actually. Uh, and uh, noong nakaraan na, nakaraan is the word uh, that uh, says in the past. Uh, nakaraan, in the past uh, Sunday, or in the past week, or in the past month, in the past Tuesday, all right? And that can be shortened to just no, okay? No, no linggo, no buwan, right? No taon, nang. And we'll go into that some more. So, So uh, putting that in, we uh, went into combining those uh, terms of past uh, as we conjugate into the past tense and combining the terms of uh, uh, the past tense, you know, 
time, time, terms of time in the past, we had the format one and format two. Remember those, right? Format one, what is the unique uh, distinction of format one between, in between format one and format two? The distinction would be format one begins with the action. The action. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, nag, it begins with the action, whether it's a nag, a na, or an um. So the action starts the format one, right? And then followed by the pronoun. So, um, and then for format two, format two, you have the linking verb I, which is, starts off with the pronoun, okay? And that's the distinction between format one and format two, okay? Um, I already assumed that you have your pronoun notes handy, right? Your pronoun, I, you, and he, them, he, she, them, right? So, and that's, that's part of the, the structure of the sentences we have here. Okay. Uh, then we go into the present, and the only term that I could uh, have you remember for the present tense is ngayon, ngayon, now, okay, so ngayon. So uh, when you use that uh, with the, uh, with a, uh, of an action word, you could say, you know, the conjugation for present, okay, whether it's na, nag, or um. Naglalaba na ako ngayon. Okay. Ako ay naglalaba na ngayon. Right. Uh, and we also talked about the na. Right. Where, where should you always find the na? Generally, is always found where? After the action, unless uh, it's after ka. Yes, after the action, except for ka. When it's ka, you know, it, the ka is the, the authority among all of them, right? It's, it's always after the verb. All right, good. And then we go to the future tense. And you have, again, uh, two terms there, later and tomorrow, okay? Or uh, sa, Sa lingo, right? Sa sabado, sa in time of day. Sa enero or time of the month. Or sa 1954. Or, you know, you can use it in the year. But sa will be a sa plus day, week, month, or year. Okay? You good so far? Any questions at this point? No? No? Okay. And in this one, uh, somebody asked what's the difference between sa susunod as opposed to sa darating? Uh, does anyone remember? Sa susunod as opposed to sa darating. Is it next versus in the coming? Excellent. Yes, yes, Sophie. You're, <laughs> you've been studying. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Sasusunod, yes, is in the next week, in the next month. Sadarating in the coming, okay? But either way, you can use them, uh, either way. Good, very good. Okay, so again, Using the future, you conjugate it in the future, you put the na, you have the pronoun, and you have the time uh, con connected there. So you could say, maglalaban na ako sa sabado, right? Uh, does anyone remember the word laba? Maglaba? Isn't that to wash? Wash, wash what? Dishes? Laundry? <laughs> yes, yes. You're also a bit studying, Ashley. Laundry, yes. Laba is to laundry, yes. Specifically, 
it's to wash clothes. Okay, laba is to wash clothes. So you can say, maglalaba na ako sa Sabado. Maglalaba na ako sa susunod na Sabado. Maglalaba na ako sa darating na Sabado. Right? You just said in an, uh, next Saturday or this coming Saturday. Okay? And again, um, like uh, just to remind everyone, when we go further into this whole lesson, uh, we will uh, start chipping away format two and be focusing mostly on format one, okay? Because format one is more uh, conversational. Very good, very good. So, now uh, we have also these terms, aside from the time connectives, now we have the time of day. And when you connect the time and the time of day, you have the, connect, the connective nang, right? Nang. So you say, bukas nang umaga, kahapon nang tanghali, right? Mamayang hapon, right? Later this afternoon. So these are uh, the connectives for the time of day, all right? So you have early morning, morning, lunchtime, afternoon, evening, and midnight. Um, uh, somebody asked me, is there a word for twilight? Do you know that time of twilight? Twilight time. Uh, early evening is usually what we say, uh, um, and it's going to be, uh, it's a term where you say it's almost not a nighttime. And how that is said is magagabi, and it becomes a mag, right? Magagabi, it becomes a, an action word. It's going to turn into evening. So you use the nag form of the verb, when you say it's almost coming to be uh, night, magagabi na, magagabi na, right? So, so uh, then we started combining them. Uh, we started doing the combinations and I think you guys were able to do that, right? Combining them and, and was that something that uh, still needs uh, some practice and it's just really just like a you know uh, parts right you put together you conjugate the verb which is your action you get your pronoun and you get the time and time of day right but between the time and time of day uh, we also make sure that we have the connective noun Right. Okay, so we are actually heading off really good here. If you guys are pretty, are you are you mostly uh, comfortable with the, with this already, with the format and all? Okay. So uh, just two notes here. Uh, it could, uh, again, the time and time of day connectives can be in the front of your action and uh, pronoun, or it could be after. And this is the rule for the connectives, right? If it ends in a vowel, it's conjugated, right? Kaninang umaga. But when it ends with a consonant, it's separated. Kahapon na umaga. Yeah. Thumbs up. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. All right. Here's one thing that is not in your notes. I sort of added this. When you say uh, in the future, sa sabado, you can add the time of day in the middle. Sa gabi ng Sabado, right? Saturday night. And you go uh, and you either say sa gabi, sa umaga, sa tanghali, 
right, ng Sabado. So this is the connective here. You still have sa Sabado, but if you want to be specific what time Saturday, you put the time of day in the middle of sa and Sabado, and you put there gabi ng, umaga ng Sabado. So the connective of now is there, okay? So is that so would it be kakayan kaka and tayo sa gabi ng sabado meaning we eat Saturday night? Yes, 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 yes. Takip silim, yes. Poetically, yes, you are right. Takip silim is poetic. Uh, term for for um, twilight but in the conversation uh, you might they might think uh, you're palagtas if you can pagkita tayo sa takip silim <laughs> yeah oh my gosh you are but in the conversational mode you just say sa sa uh, sa uh, maggagabi ng sabado We're good, we're good, you guys. All right, here we go. Let's see if you uh, can actually uh, translate these just to have some quick exercise here. Uh, let's see if you can translate uh, uh, just one and tell me which one you can translate and see if you can add uh, some of the time and time of day. And I've added there the, the action and the type, the type of uh, uh, verb conjugation. I think this is one of the last things that we quickly did before we ended our class last, last week or two weeks ago. So if you can just find one, go ahead. I can do the first one. Go ahead. Kumanta na sila kaninang umaga. Very good. Yeah, everybody got that? Very good. Is there a type while we're doing this, like on live screen so we can see it? Do you want me to type it on the chat? Oh yeah, maybe that would help. Okay, let's see, let's see. So this is, uh, let's see. Uh, right. Very good. They already sang. So already is the word na, right? Earlier this morning, kanina is early. Morning is umaga. Good. So. Who wants to try another one? I can do the fourth one. I think I did that oh. one last time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Sumisi Gaokana. Yes. Sumisi Gaokana. That's because it's you. Right? Uh, and then that you used format one, right? You started with the uh, sh shouting, you are shouting already. So, it's present. And so, and you can also, you can also say this, uh, using the present tense for time. See that? You're using the present tense ngayon, right? Sumisigaw ka na ngayon, right? Okay. 
uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, let's try and see who, uh, how we could do. We with you. What is the um, the pronoun for we with you? What is it? Kyle. Tayo. Tayo. Yes. So, we with you will be cooking and eating later this afternoon. So, what is uh, later this afternoon is future. So, uh, and it's a nag form for luto. So what is the future for luto in nag form? Magluluto tayo, magluluto na tayo. Later. Oh, mamaya nang hapon. Yes. Yeah, hey. so right. sweet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Magluluto na tayo, but mamaya, because you and mamaya ends with a vowel, it has to be conjugated with mamaya. So it does mamayang. Oh yeah. Hapon. Mama yang. And but um, there is also magluluto and kain. We're going to cook and eat. So magluluto, what's the word for end? Magluluto at. So how, what is the future for kain in the um verb? Um form. Kakain, very good. Magluluto at kakain na tayo. There you go. That good? Everybody got that? So end is, so you just conjugated it in the future tense. How about, uh, he already took a bath yesterday evening. No, yesterday evening is like last night. So what's past tense of legal? Ligo, yes. Ligo na ki. Good. Yesterday evening is. All right. So, hindi na siya maliligo. No more taking a bath. Maligo na siya kagabi. Okay. All right. Very good, very good. So um, I think th this would be the kind of exercise I will be handing out to you uh, for your for your homework. So let us move forward. I think this is where we start getting into shifting to questions. All right, the ba. Uh, again, I uh, emphasized last time that in Tagalog. It's very tonal. It's very sing-song. A, a ba is just a word that uh, makes sure it's a, it's a question. But actually, uh, uh, when you have uh, uh, any sentence, aalis na tayo, you know, aalis na tayo, you say it, we're leaving now. But when you say aalis na tayo, when it goes up, it becomes a question. Okay, aalis na tayo. But to make it into a question, you add, you add the word ba. And where do you put the ba? It's after the na. Always after. Ba will always be after the na. If there is no na, if there is no na, it will be after the, the, the action. Except, who comes in? Kaba. <laughs> Kaba, <laughs> yes. The queen ka. <laughs> yes. Uh, the ka is always going to be getting everyone aside and it will always be the one to follow the action. And so ka na ba would be 
the sequence there when it's used the ka. So, aalis na ba kayo? Aalis na ba kayo bukas ng umaga? And of course, again, the time, time of day can be put in front or uh, after, okay? So we're good. Shifting to question. And then of course in format two, all right, because of the uh, the, uh, the, the uh, linking verb there, kayo ay aalis na, right? So uh, you also put dana. Kayo ay aalis na ba, right? It's all the ba will always follow the action. Okay. Although there are some, there are some folks who actually use kayo ba ay aalis na. They put the ba when there's an i after the pronoun. That's also acceptable. But the the uh, the uh, the proper way is after. It's always after the action. That makes it even more stronger to remember because that's where it's always going to be. The ba will always be after the action or after na, okay? So again, the exception, okay? The na or the ka. Look at this, okay? The ka and ikaw. The ka ba. Here I put the, the ba after the ikaw, but the ba is usually after the action. Actually, in format two, it can go either after the pronoun or after the action. It's in the uh, format one where the ba is always going to be after the action. All right. Any questions at this point? about ba are we good with ba we're good all right uh can you remind me what the the short change you're doing there for t plus t td is oh the t the t plus td is this is time and time of day like this one okay. here the example there right i just couldn't remember what the acronym was for like this <laughs> Yeah, it, it is actually ikaw ay kakain na mamaya. Or you could say ikaw ay kakain na mamayang gabi. Kakain ka na mamayang tanghali, right? So this is just time plus time of day. Okay. So let's move. We're good. So let's see if you can uh, uh, put this in ba. See if you can put these in question form. How do you put the first one in question form? Go ahead, Sophie. Kaka in naba kayo mamaya. Yes. Okay. Let me type that down. Okay. And what is it asking? Um. Are, are you eating later? Yes, are you all eating later, okay? So, kakain na ba kayo mamaya? And you can answer, and that is a question to you, right? Uh, to somebody who's, who's diff, uh, apart from you. Let's just say you're the one answering it. How would you answer it? How would you answer the person asking the question? What would be now, the pronoun that you're going to use. 
Okay. Because ako. Ako or kayo means there's a group of you. Oh, right? so we. Yes. Um, kayo eh. or kami. Yes, kami, without you. So the answer there would be kakain na kami mamaya. Okay. So you see, uh, here, as we go forward here, one of the things that's going to start, you know, uh, playing here would be the shifting of the pronouns. Because uh, someone is going to ask the question and some, you are going to answer the, the question. Either, uh, but unless it's a question that's directed to they and them or he, she, right? But if it's going to be uh, you or me, are you going to eat? Are you going to uh, to wash the clothes? And how do you answer? I'm, I'm going to wash the clothes, or you know, uh, okay. So that's going to be the uh, the thing that you need to be mindful of. So how about the second one? How do you ask? The second one as a question. Sila ay naligo at nagpapahinga na. Oh, pahinga. Pahinga means to rest, right? To rest. So what is it that we're saying? Does everyone remember the word ligo? Ligo. Yeah. Took a shower. Yes, take a shower. Yeah. So, so what is it that they're saying here? Sila ay naliligo at nagpapahinga na. So, how can that be a question? Did they take a rest and shower? Yes. Did they did they take a rest and shower already? Yeah, because of the na. So how how did how can you convert this into a question? Where do you put the ba? Where do you put the ba? After na? Yes. Uh, yes. So sila ay naligo at nagpapahinga na ba? Right. And so the response to that question would be Sila ay naligo at nagpapahinga na. Okay. That would be the answer. This would be the, the response. If it is in fact, yes. Okay. Uh, how about the third one? Uma Alicia. Where do you put the ba? After Uma Alice. Yes. After Uma Alice. Uma Alice Basia. Yes. Is he, she leaving? Okay. Now, let's see using format one. Ikaw ay matutulog na. Ikaw ay matutulog na. How would you ask the question? What, what is being said here? You are? Yeah, you are going to sleep already, right? You're going to sleep already. So how are you going to ask the question in format one? Format one would start with a with an action. Ikaw ba ay matutulog na? Yes, that's but that's format two. You say it in format one.
I call Emma to do your Naba. It's still the I. <laughs> yes. Oh, I get what you're. I get what you're asking. I was yes. misunderstanding. Yes. Uh, matutu log. Yes, it starts with that. Yes. Everybody got that? Matutu log ka naba. Right. Now, if somebody is asking you that question. Matutulo kanaba. How would you answer it? I thought for the ka it went directly after the pronoun. To be for the ka, yeah. No, ka naba. When it's ka, the 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 what is this? It's only the ka that uh, precedes the ba. When it's when ka is used, it precedes the ba and. Uh, uh you don't say ka uh matuturu kanaba kanaba you don't say matutulug nakaba no or matutulug bakana it's always ka naba oh yes okay. the only the only pronoun that follows the the uh the action and is ahead of ba is ka oh mm -hmm. right okay right but the rest of the pronouns will always follow na ba sila na ba kayo na ba tayo na ba ako right all the other pronouns follows na ba but ka will always be the one in front all right. Cool. All right. So, if somebody asks you the question, "Matutulog ka na ba?" How would you answer that? Matutulog na ako. Yes, very good. Matutulog. So, um. Are we good? Are, is this is this okay? This whole thing with questioning and answering, because next week your homework, you will try to to do again. You know, a, a question and answer. Try to uh, familiarize yourself with questioning and answering. But next uh, Thursday, we're gonna start uh, having you learn to answer yes. No, maybe, because the format for yes is different from the format of no. Uh, you know, oo is yes, hindi is no. And maybe is siguro, baka, right? So that's what you're going to be uh, uh, doing next week or next Thursday when we meet again. Uh, so, is there something that we, you guys can do? Five, right, four questions, yeah? And then um, just uh, like, kumain na ba sila? Kumain na sila kanina. This is an example, right? And I want to see if you can uh, inject there your time and time of day connectives, right? With a question and an answer. Are you good? Time went by fast. <laughs> yeah, time goes by really fast. So are there, uh, so no questions at all? Nothing, not at all? Uh, Okay, let's see. So, okay, that's uh, oh, wait, wait a minute. Let me, <laughs> that's already the, the paalam. Let's see if I have something here. Uh, let's see, I just wanna make sure. I got a couple more minutes. So, so here we go. So this is the worksheet that we have. 
So does everyone understand this, this uh, table here? Yeah, I put it in the past, the present and the future. Okay, so if you have questions of that, and then of course I put there the pronouns for your guidance. And then, and, and then of course, format one and format two, just for your, for your notes, okay? And uh, this were the, just the space there to write your own example. Uh, and then translating, that was that exercise and then shifting to questions. And then here it is. We, we did this, right? And this is your homework. Four questions and answer pairs in any of the non action words. Okay. All right. So it's thumbs up with everyone. We will see each other and Please uh, invite others to come in. They're welcome to join in, uh, even if uh, you know. I'm sure they can. They can catch up. Okay, kita kids, take care. Have a merry Christmas. Okay, bye bye. Salamat. <laughs> Salamat. Okay, sige. Bye bye. Salamat.